My name is Ulrike Schottmeier and I work at the Zentrum Frauenberuf und Technik in Kassel-Rausel, Germany, and the Center for Women in Professions and Technologies was launched in 1994 by the town of Kassel-Rausel. Around 15 scientific staff members develop and implement projects on the interfaces of business, equality, and politics. And this public institution is, fun is realizing funded projects. And the project concerning reconciliation of work and care, which I am presenting to you today, was funded by the State Ministry of Family of North Rhine Westphalia and by the European Union and was carried out from November 2008 to February 2011. And back in 2008, what was the situation in care in Germany? There were 2.1 million persons recognized as requiring a certain level of care, and 70% of them are cared, were cared for as outpatients at home. So, um, but the most important fact um, for our project was that 40% of the persons providing care are employed, and more than half of them are in full-time employment. And added to this are about um, 3.6 million persons who who are requiring help of any kind. And uh, due to the German record change, the number of persons requiring help and care is rising and correspondingly that of the persons providing care. So um, at the beginning of the project, it was very easy for us to acquire pilot companies for the project because most of the companies had a typical personal structure, typical to be affected by the top of care. And why is that? Because the average staff age was between 43 and 40 years old, and in the most in the most companies, the largest group is that of the 40 to 50 years old. And many companies had a high share of women who already worked in part time, and these are the ones who will most probably do the caring job if some family member might need it. But the managers did not really have an idea of how many of the employees had already taken over a care task besides working. But they knew that the company did not yet provide care-friendly human resource policies. <coughs> so um, finally we had found 16 companies from, a, from different sectors and of various sizes. And the smallest company, a pharmacy in Castor Rauxel, had 25 employees, and the biggest one, the district administration of Beckinghausen, had almost 1,200 employees. Other companies also participating were, for example, a software developer and supplier, a super regional department store, um, a training and education center, a service provider of in and out patient as well as daycare, a large bakery, a maker of products from tar distillation, and also administrations, one municipal administration and two district administrations, and uh, also three hospitals. How did we proceed in the companies? During the coordination meeting with the managers, they decided what kind of tools they wanted to use. An upstream demand survey with this questionnaire to find out how many employees are already combining work with care, what kind of help, support or care they are giving to their relatives and how much time they spend supporting or caring each day. And what measures on behalf of the company and we named 11 measures would be the best support. Second, subsequent conduction of workshops with employees and or executives to find out the care-related demands of caregivers and to develop approaches of solutions. And third, interviews with caregivers who only wanted to discuss their personal situation and needs in a face-to-face -face situation. Um, what kind of results did we offer the companies? After working in the companies, we developed individual recommendations and implementation tools for each company, taking into account their individual needs. And in addition, we provided them with up-to-date information concerning basic and regional help for caregivers so that they could put together an information package or a so-called emergency folder for their employees. 
And on top of that, some of the companies wanted to create an individual guide for caring and use um, to which we gave our assistance. And um, some of the companies had performed a survey before we contact, conducted the workshops. And this is a typical um, result of one of the surveys. Um, there were 68 questionnaires and we got three, 33 answers. Eight of them um, told us they are already uh, providing care and eight um, told us that they might be affected personally in the future. So 12% were, were already affected and 12% were interested in the topic due to a possible future care in class. And this shows a trend in the companies which is still valid because approximately every tenth employee is responsible for supporting and caring for older relatives with a rising trend. And a further 10 to 20% expect to be faced with a support or care task at any time in the summer or near future. And also we have a trend that personal involvement and affection leads to an extended family term. Because the family environment of employees includes all cohabitations where a long-term social responsibility taken for others is taken over. And this includes not only the near relatives, but might also include the close friends, neighbors, etc. With the survey we asked for for the biggest need for support. So the survey supports, proposed 11 possible measures of support for improving reconciliation. And as you can see, a typical result shows that the decisive support offers have to do with working time and it extends to flexibility. Um, time of work in acute emergency is the one that the employees um, named mostly and flexi time. Um, whereas the cooperation with external services pro service providers or the founding of groups of those affected are at the bottom of the list. But very interesting in this context is that especially the manual founding of groups of those affected, that means an exchange of experience was estimated much more important as soon as the workshop started. And the persons affected could communicate, could exchange views, information, and so on with someone else affected who knows himself what they were talking about. During the workshops, we followed a certain structure to find out the operational support needed by the caregivers and to develop approaches to solution. We had 12 action fields falling under three different categories. The first category is personal policy with working time, place of work, holidays, time off, and work organization. The second is corporate culture with um, the team as executives, colleagues, internal communication and information and advice. And the last one is corporate infrastructure, um, which shows what kind of direct supports the companies could offer, for example, care of relatives, office of services, financial help, and health promotion. And as a follow-up to the Workshops to the workshops, we developed individual recommendations and implementation tools for each company taking into account their individual needs. And I would like to present those recommendations regarding each action field and the, uh, and the kind of solution the companies already implemented within the project time or shortly thereafter. And I do not have enough time to um, show you the results for every action field, so I just concentrate on the most important ones and um, at, at the end of the presentation you will find my email address and you're free to write me an email and I can send you the presentation if you're interested in all of the results. So I just start with uh, the topic working hours and the criteria for that is uh, right reliability, flexibility, but also phase-wise solutions that, for example, when employees reduce their time of working, that this is not forever, but just for the time they really need it. So this is um, the topic that companies should really take into account the, the phase-wise needs of their employees. So the results were, um, or what we recommended to the companies was, for example, to show flexibility in position and extent of the working hours, 
working time reductions for a certain time, flexible customized break arrangements, or for example, um, long distance care is easier when employees can build up hours of overtime and the reduction of this overtime enables them to uh, have days off and prolong every other weekend. And shift extension might be um, uh, important for those who cannot leave their relatives alone at night. Um, the theme place of work is always ha does always have to do with reducing traveling times from the place of work um, and um, also um, the distance from one's own place of residence but also from the location of the person to be cared for. So solutions could, he could be to offer home office to choose the place of assignment systematically and with the aim of reduce, to reduce traveling time and to avoid field services, including far distances. Um, regarding the, the theme holidays and time off, um, there are two um, legal possibilities for the employees, the Nursing Leave Act and the uh, New Family Caregiver Leave Act. But I skip that because uh, my colleague Marisa Feldman will talk about it later. So um, I concentrate on the on the office the companies can do and um, in the requirement service the time off in serious emergencies is seen consistently as the most important support measure. But other examples would be to guarantee, for example, a one year care period that means um, a voluntary extension of the six month leave, which is allowed with the law. You will <coughs> learn about this later. And uh, one of the hospitals, for example, offered a special leave up to five years. Um, companies could think about a paid short term time out or care period and maybe even a reverse sabbatical. Um, the work organization is um, very important because every, um, with a greater flexibility in regarding working time or working place, and on top of that, the already existing exceptional situations like work peaks, illness, emergencies, or holidays have to be managed. And every participant of the workshops was very, um, was very responsible with that theme and. Um, uh, a company could promote arrangements like creating job descriptions, having well-tailored part-time working, having viable substitution rules, offering resilient manpower, um, and so on. Um, the theme, now uh, the action field executives and colleagues is uh, almost with both the theme. How do they? Um, how do they? Uh, um, handle the, the theme, how do they um, show their um, respect, their backing, their tolerance and social skills. So um, executives and colleagues um, should um, have more information about the subject and the situation of colleagues and um, of the employees to get a better understanding and um, colleagues also should uh, raise their awareness because they can possibly be affected in the future themselves. And um, executives should become really personal themselves <coughs> regarding this topic. Um, and for example, just talk about their own reconciliation of work and care of, or of work and family um, so that there is a better understanding um, and uh, yeah, that they can talk with their employees and their, the openness is increasing. Um, regarding the topic internal communi communication, we have to say that, um, that we found a really good foundation in all pilot companies because a basic family oriented personal policy and corporate culture was already established. But um, what we recommend is to make a clear statement by the company's management um, to uh, um, appreciate the employees providing care and assistance to relatives and either children or elderly relatives and that can, could be done during staff meetings, employee information or payrolls and should be communicated, should communicate the situation and the objectives. 
um, they could um, also um, uh, organize exchange of experiences and um, present good solutions for an effective person just to strengthen, strengthen um, the confidence of others, um, of those who are already affected, but of, also of those who might be affected in the future. Um, regarding the information and advice, that is above everything else um, the most important topic to, uh, um, to most of the people who are affected and the most inter interesting topics were and still are primarily organizational, financial and legal issues and companies could easily help by organizing seminars or information events on those topics in order to support their staff. And um, they should appoint an internal and ex external contact person to provide the service, uh, the information themselves, or to have um, contact data available, um, and which could um, support. Um, yeah, uh, this is one of the very nice um, uh, examples. Uh, the district of Durin um, uh, had solutions regarding this topic information and advice, for example, they um, uh, offered a training series with five lectures and also a basic care course. In addition, they, um, uh, they realized and created an emergency folder for employees and an extensive information file and they did a really good job uh, regarding this um, topic. Uh, I think I skipped the care of relatives um, topic and um, what is um, important is that the, uh, regarding the Office of Services, um, the companies should think of easy solutions like um, opening the, the existing services to employees and for example the hospitals, the department stores and last but not least the pharmacy did that in our project, but they could also um, form a voluntary family service for employees and their relatives to, um, to supply an emergency support for their employees. Um, and they can arrange an offer of services um, close to the household, also to taxi and transport services, maybe a shopping service, a meal service, cleaning service, etc. Um, and we found out about uh, an idea of a big energy company that serves parking places for employees that are taking care of relatives. And this is uh, a support measure which is very easy to implement. It, it's not ex expensive, but it shows the appreciation for caring employees. About the financial health, companies can grant loans or advances on salary, and of course they can pay for the leave of absence. Um, yeah, but the um, but the participants of the workshops did not have really unrealistic demands concerning this topic. Um, yeah, the health promotion is very is a very important theme because it's really very necessary to especially maintain and improve the health of the caring person because every uh, um, care organizing situation is a specific um, physical and psychological burden for the employee who is taking um, over a care job. And um, where companies could provide um, a work-life balance training, other health trainings, as well as courses for mental and emotional relief. Um, to conclude my presentation, I have listed the most important points we have found out during the work with the companies. And this is no company starts at zero, at zero because most of the companies already have some kind of support, which can be used also for improving the reconciliation of caring employees. Um, companies should start um, to think out um, and before they start to think about possible measures of support, they have to know about the concerns and special needs of caring employees so that they have to ask for them and communicate with the affected employees and be open themselves. 
it's uh, important um, that the topic information is uh, maybe the uh, best topic to give advice and concern that's okay. Um, therefore, like I, um, to, like I said to the um, example of the reserved parking places, it's not often the big offers that count and the measures that are necessary. It sometimes takes only time and commitment. And uh, regarding commitment, um, at least greatly appreciate that commitment by the management and feel themselves valued and respected. And um, persons who are affected are, um, despite their own burden, quite committed. That means they find relief through the commitment and they are the ones who really want to um, bring that um, topic further in the company. And uh, interestingly, the exit Executives um, carry the subject very, very well and sometimes better than the topic um, reconciliation of uh, work and family because they um, are often affected themselves more often than um, that they have kids. And uh, last but not least, what should the companies do? What do we do? We recommend. Um, we recommend that they should make the topic known and take up a position. They should determine demand by different tools. Um, they can easily offer an information event on organizational, legal, or financial topics. And uh, they should name a contact person um, who can give information to the employees. Um, they should document the existing situation and the existing measures. Um, and they should offer workshops and uh, well use the help of the employees because the employees are mostly the best have the best ideas how the situation can be improve, improved. And um, yeah, they should um, they should uh, do what they can easily do and uh, what they are willing to offer. And uh, the really important is uh, to provide transparency about the topic, the solutions, and maybe also best practice and examples um, so that everyone feels equally informed about the topic. Um, so, thank you very much for your attention. This was kind of fast, <laughs> but um, here's my email address if you want to have the other insights. Thank you very much.